Few assignments are more daunting than taking on a stalled project, especially one that's been starting and stopping for 30 years. But with demand for power in Central Texas rapidly rising in the mid-2000s, Dallas-based power company Luminant decided it was time to revisit a once-shuttered energy project. The Oak Grove project is a unique one in the state of power industry. This project started in the early 70s and then stopped and started again over the years because of the economic needs from a power industry. In 2007, Luminant tapped Greenville, South Carolina company Fluor to handle engineering, procurement, and construction duties. You know, uh, when we started off with Oak Grove, it was the proverbial uh, question, how do you eat an elephant? And it was one small piece at a time. So we used that philosophy to develop our work breakdown structure for the, scale, uh, for the project. We took the work breakdown structure, we divided it into two main areas of expertise for our company, that was engineering and then construction. Located about 150 miles or 241 kilometers south of Dallas, the U.S. $1.92 billion project aimed to build two lignite-fueled power generation units delivering 1,600 megawatts of power. One big issue? The team was contending with equipment that had been in storage since the late 1970s. We had to go in and do a current assessment of that 30-year-old equipment. What kind of shape was it in as it was stored? Uh, how can we ensure that it's going to be ready for performance when we put it into operation? The team also had to ensure that the right people with the right skills were in place. During the project, 16 team members earned the Project Management Professional PMP certification. It allowed us to have the individuals see the broader view of the, the project and understand what other groups were doing and it made them more efficient in knowing what kind of deliverables they needed to provide to the other groups to be successful. The project's location posed other challenges. Oak Grove is a 45-minute drive from the nearest populous area, which made it difficult to attract a workforce. The team addressed this risk through community outreach and solid stakeholder management. As you get into needing certain housing to support the craft and the staff needs, uh, developing those relationships with all of the surrounding towns, letting them know what the ultimate plans are going to be through their support system and their government system uh, was a big resource to be able to spur on, I guess, their innovative ideas to support the project. Adherence to structured project management processes, from scheduling to risk management to communication and safety, helped the project come in on budget and two weeks ahead of schedule. A project like this is terribly complex and even if it was a very simple project that did not have all these complexities, without staying true to the structure of the Project Management Institute and floor practices and procedures, we could not be successful. 